The Paralympic sprinting champion Libby Clegg and her fiancé Dan Powell, who are both visually impaired, well, they've been testing out the technology. We can see how they get on with it. So weird. Staying away. Dan, no. I'm literally like right on your face. So I've got no central vision and I've got um, very limited peripheral vision. I was reading a vendor machine from about 10 feet away. I can't do that when I walk right up to it. You can also freeze an image so you can read text. I've not been able to read like a magazine since I was a teenager. Also change the contrast and stuff. So I could see things that I've not been able to see in years. Oh, Liv, she got a big spotlight just by it. I know. <laughs> I know yeah. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. She's kept me around over the weekend, so. <laughs> you can think of it as a, a sophisticated magnifier. The current model for the home is already shipping. TV watching, right. some of the things, uh, reading, and many people report they could see faces for the first time since they lost their sight. Dan was able to see his tattoos. Hadn't you just let the tattoo artist kind <laughs> of yeah, run just free? Give him, just give him free roam. The software is brilliant. It, it is absolutely brilliant. Like, it was a great forward step. It's the first positive thing I've found uh, technology-wise to be useful to me and to Libby as well. And uh, Hattie's just making herself at home. <laughs> it's relaxing. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for coming to see us tomorrow. Really, obviously, thank you. Oh, thank you so. very much. Thank, thank you.